Chao are a lot like Chaos in that they can change into many different forms. Every Chao is unique in their own way and many of them are quite rare. In this video, we will be looking at the top 10 rarest Chao in the Chao Gardens for Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2. Hopefully you'll see some Chao you've never seen before. We will not be considering mods for this video as they can make any Chao possible to get. So let's get right into the list. First on this list are the yellow, pink, and purple colored Chao. These three Chao colors are not that rare in most versions of the game. However, in the PC release of the game, due to a bug, they are impossible to get. In each version of the game after the Dreamcast version, there will be a set of three colored eggs that are unobtainable on every save file. This means it is potentially impossible for you to get these three eggs in other versions of the game too. I've got no idea why Sonic Team made some egg colors impossible to get on each save file. It really does not make much sense why every save file cannot get three random egg colors. Ninth on this list is the Bright Chow. This Chow is a glitched version of the shiny two-tone Chow that is exclusive to the HD releases on the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. These games had some issues when ported from their original versions and the shiny two-tone Chow was replaced with what is commonly called a Bright Chow. You should try experimenting with different types of Bright Chow. Some color and type combinations look amazing! Number 8 is the Chaos Chow. They come in three varieties, the Angel Chaos Chow, Devil Chaos Chow, and Light Chaos Chow. You can see some of these Chow in the hardest races and highest level of Karate too. Having a Chaos Chow in your garden is one of the best ways to prove your dedication to Chow. These Chow are very time consuming to create as they require your Chow to have already lived two full lives before you can turn them into an immortal Chaos Chow. They are a little bit complicated to create, but if you want to learn more about them, check out my video on Chaos Chow. Only really dedicated players will have Chaos Chow in their guard, which is why they are number 8 on this list. Number 7 on this list is the All S Chow. This Chow type is the strongest type you can get. By saying All S, we are referring to the stack grades of the Chow. To get an All S Chow requires a lot of breeding and Chow raising, but is very rewarding, as you can get some crazy strong Chow. I have a detailed guide on my channel that goes over how you can get an All S Chow for yourself. Having an S grade means your Chow will get more points each time it levels up, and therefore have a higher stat ceiling. For reference, a Chow with an E in Swim will max out at about 1,485 points, whereas an S will max out at 2,970 points. If you plan to play the modded versions of Chow Racing and Chow Karate, you will need one of these Chow to beat your toughest opponents. Next up is a Chow you probably haven't seen before, because it's the Invisible Chow. The Invisible Chow is a shiny jewel Chow in the GameCube version of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. To get one of these, simply breed a Jewel Chow with a Shiny Chow. There are many varieties of Shiny Jewel Chow and they are all dependent on the Shiny color, not the Jewel color of the Chow. They can range in the amount of transparency that they have, which adds some nice variety to this Chow type. Sadly, this awesome Chow type is only possible to get without mods in the GameCube version of the game, making it quite rare. Number 5 is the Onyx Jewel Chow. This Chow is not obtainable in most versions of Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure DX. The main way to get one of these awesome Jewel Chow is to buy one from the Tiny Chow Garden from Sonic Advance for 20,000 rings! It takes a while to farm rings in that game and as far as I'm aware there's no major glitch or exploit to speed it up either. Because this Chow requires the Tiny Chow Garden, it is only available in the GameCube version of the Chow Garden, with the exception being the SA1 Dreamcast version, where it is obtainable through breeding. Many of the other Jewel Chow are considered rare, but this is the rarest of them all. Next up is the Shiny Black Chow. It is tied with the Onyx Jewel Chow for the most expensive Chow you can buy in the Chow Garden. Unlike the Onyx Chow, the Shiny Black Chow requires all emblems in the version of the game you're playing in order for it to appear in the black market. For Sonic Adventure DX, it has 130 emblems, and for Sonic Adventure 2, it is 180 emblems. According to Steam, only 3.1% of Sonic Adventure DX players have 130 emblems, and only 1.4% in Sonic Adventure 2. Having this Chow in your garden is the ultimate way to prove your mastery of either Sonic Adventure DX or Sonic Adventure 2. Number 3 is a fan favorite, the Tails Chow. This Chow type very closely resembles Sonic's best friend Tails. The Tails Chow was originally an event exclusive Chow obtained at events in Japan but you can also get a Tails Chow in the game Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 for the GameCube. You have to transfer the Tails Chow from that game to a tiny Chow Garden file on the Game Boy Advance, 
and then from there transfer it to your console chow garden. This chow is still technically possible to get today if you have the Fantasy Star Online game, Sonic Advance, and a working Game Boy Advance with the transfer cable, but it's a lot of work and the games required have gone up in value over the years, making them harder to find at a good price. The number two spot is shared by two chow, the Amy and Knuckles chow. They are character chow just like the Tails chow. These chow are also similar in that they were originally obtainable from events in Japan. The reason that Amy and Knuckles are ranked higher than Tails is that they are not obtainable in any other way. This means they are now impossible to get, and the number remaining are very limited. Very few people can truly say they have a real Knuckles or Amy Chow that is not cheated. It really sucks that they are so hard to get because these Chow both look awesome and are very similar to the characters they are based off of. The Moon Chow is in my opinion the rarest Chow in the Chow Garden. It is only available without cheats in the Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure 2. To obtain a Moon Chow you have to get 30 emblems and use the Dreamcast's online black market feature to download the Chow. This service is no longer available, meaning it is now impossible to get a legit Moon Chow. I did not even know the Chow existed until somewhat recently due to their rarity. They are very unique and they kind of look like colorful golf balls in my opinion. I have a Moon Chow in my Chow Garden series named Opal. I used Chris 2's Chow Editor to cheat the Moon Chow into my PC release of the game, since they are otherwise unattainable. If you enjoyed looking at these rare Chow, consider checking out my other videos on the Chow Garden. I have a series that I run on the PC release, which utilizes many awesome mods to enhance the overall Chow experience. We actually have most of the Chow on this list in that series, so you should definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and consider subscribing too. Have a good one.